moves the stock forward with this pre-described amount, which is controlled right here. The collet closes, the clutch engages, this tool moves forward, turns the diameter of the screw, This and then this cam moves this die, this die in the end of that spindle, up upon the end of the screw, and and then and then and then these pawls, these pins grab these pawls and turn these semicircular gears, which turns this, and that moves forward at the lead of the screw, controlled by these change gears. So it moves forward at the lead of the screw, and then back at the lead of the screw, and then the whole thing backs away, and this picker arm flips over 180 degrees, drops down upon the screw, that parts it off, and then this flips it back over here, and that slitting saw slots the screw, and that pokes that into a pan. Meanwhile, another one's being turned over here. Well, in the old days before 1871, you know, one man with a little aid from a boy could perhaps make a thousand screws a day running like hell with this darn thing and some tooling and so forth and a, and a thread slotting machine, a screw slotting machine. <laughs> but one man in the mid-1870s could attend eight or ten of these machines and just have this job of loading two-foot sections of stock in there every now and then and he could make fifty to sixty thousand screws a day. Tiny screws. <laughs> yeah. Threading. Slotting. God darn it, it's breaking off. Yeah, he's in charge of ten of these machines. Yeah, yeah.